ACDC songs. I think Breaking the Law was like one of the first riffs I like learned how to play. I guess just your normal stuff you can kind of start off with, but that's like the the type of stuff that's so timeless. I give lessons to a, a friend of mine's uh, daughter who's uh, 13 and she's interested in learning the same stuff that I was interested in learning and that I think everybody is. And it's just that like really like tangible, relatable like riffs that get you stoked on music. Metallica for me and also like Black Sabbath were those like bands where I started learning their, those songs, those solos, and I was kind of able to like draw parallels between like, oh, this is using like this scale, but they're just like doing this, you know, different sequence with the notes or, or whatever. So those two helped me like learn my instrument. My other two, I know you asked for one, I'm giving you like four. Um, Dimebag Daryl and, and Randy Rhodes are like, you know, Dimebag, not just for the solos, but just like the rhythmic nature of like his riffs and his songwriting. Uh, it's so powerful. Do you know what I think's like the best solo is, um, it's Chris Stapleton's song. And I think it's called, um, You Should Probably Leave. And it's like one of my favorite guitar solos because, um, it's emotional too. That's like another part of it. Like it conveys the emotion of the song, but he leaves like so much space. Like there's so much, there's like a lot of parts in that solo where it's like he could go off and do like something, but he just like lets it hang. One of the most memorable like shows we ever did was uh, actually not this past summer, but the summer before we played one of my favorite festivals It's called Hellfest and that takes place every summer in France. And it's like really, I mean, they just go all out. They consider so many details of the festival. It's like really community driven. And you feel like you're in heavy metal, like Disney World. We were just like really, um, really taken by like the response that we got. We had like, you know, one of the most packed audiences uh, that I've ever like seen with the band. and they let us do an encore despite the fact that it was a festival and we were like on a pretty tight time crunch. They, I thought it was really cool that they kind of let us do that and the kind of overall response was, was like overwhelming. It was like kind of emotional, you know? So uh, that always stands out as like a, a big, like really cool tour of moments, you know? Something that's become like really important, like. For me, it's just like a sound I'm like really excited about that I use live and like a lot on this record is just um, have it like a compressor before a fuzz pedal and just like compressing the crap out of, uh, you know, the signal going into the fuzz and you end up getting this like really wild like fuzz sound that's like super compressed. So it's like kind of like, uh, you know, it's it's really like smooth in a way but also it's like all right the the wave is like occupying as much possible space in like these parameters and it's just got a really cool wild feel to it i think last word is a really one that really stands out i love the vocal performance we're able to get i love um nick and sebastian's like work on that song i think it's like outstanding shows each of them at as their like i don't know like their peak ability of like what they can do i mean they can do so much more and so much more like diverse things but it's just like especially sebastian our drummer like there's so much cool hi-hat work on that song and i know that that's like a big part of like his thing that he's like stoked on and i just love that he was able to get that in there in a way that it's just like cohesive with the song and, and suits the song and and same with Nick and so I was really just proud to like be a part of that one and proud of the work that we all like did and the work that went into making it I mean I feel that way about the entire record uh and the last record too but that that one as like a single song that one like kind of stands out.